Hi, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to quickly show you how to create a distribution mailing list, how to create a mailing list or a group contact. So if you're a teacher or someone that have to send email to several people in a day, instead of you always having to type the name of these people and even forgetting to add a particular person to the group, you can create a smart list whereby the names and the email of all these people will be in a single contact and that is the contact you are going to be using for sending emails to anyone you want to send to. So how do you create this mailing distribution list? Can you see this icon here that, that is um, in your Outlook account? Once you open the app, you can see on the left side of the screen these two symbols that indicate people if you click on it, it's going to open this page where you can then create either a new group or a new contact group. So because we want to create a new contact group so that once we send an email to this group, the, the new contact group would allow uh, email to be received by the number of people you add to that mailing uh, group. So for instance, let's create a new group. And this group, we can name it as biology student, biology student. And we can start adding people to this group. So there are three different ways you can add the people to the group. You can add either from the mailing, uh, from the address book, from an email contact or from an Outlook contact. So let's say we want to add from an address book. If you click that, you can search for who you want to add to that group. So if you are, if you've previously sent an email to them, they will come up in the on the list. So click search and click the enter. You can see I can find myself. I'm going to add myself to that list. So if I click on my name, then I'm going to click OK. And now I've been added to that group. And you can repeat this for the number of for all the other students or all the other contacts that you want to add to that group. Once you are done, you will click on the save and close. So when you click on the save and close, can you see now that now we have a group called biology students. And because I've only added myself, I'm the, I'm the only member of that group. If you've added about 20 people, this will also show up. With, uh, with having a group, it saves you the headache and the hassle of having to search, forget of uh, searching for everybody's name or even forgetting to add some people to that mailing uh, contact list. If you find this video useful, do not forget to click on the subscribe button and share this video with other people that you know might benefit from it. Thank you for watching this video and goodbye.